You're listening to the, the, the Blue Sky Radio. Blue Sky Radio. Beautiful blue skies. Blue skies. happy that the idea even it, it, it's coming to as in uh, existence so I'm glad that it's happening to me so this is the first year this is the first year is this going to be an annual thing it's going to be an annual thing oh wow so you're you're working the night actually well I'm trying to rest but it's a pretty good turnout are you pleased with the turnout so far yeah I'm glad that people came out because of this because it gives, me, it gives me the joy to know that I'm going to, it's going to happen again and again and again because people accept it. So that, 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 and, that's the, and that's the joy about it. Now, how important is it for Houston and the United States to really, really embrace uh, the African diaspora? Because the Afro pop, all of that is a big deal right now. Yeah, the truth is, Afro beats is the main thing now. Right. Everybody wants to jump on Afro beats. Right. So, trust me, we, Afro beats is here to stay. It's either, you, it's either you join or you watch from the side. Watch from the side. Watch from the sideline. From the sideline. All right, yo, yo, everybody. This is your boy DJ Oreo, the Cookie Master, aka Over Mr. Overdo, aka Mr. You know, freshness. And always keep stay tuned to Blue Sky Network. All right. right now because she is looking like a goddess oh, thank you. beautiful goddess 
All right, so you're going to be performing later tonight. Yes, I am. Could you tell everybody where you're from? Well, I am based in New York. My ethnic background is Nigerian. Awesome. Because this is Zofa Fest, and Zofa Fest is all about the African diaspora. Now, how would you describe your sound? Um, that's a very good question. Um, I would say I'm more of an Afro pop. You know, it's all about the feeling. It's all about getting everybody to dance. So, because before this, I was a dancer. So I was like, okay, what can I do as a musician? If I'm as a dancer, I say, you know what? I want to make music that can make people dance. So I'm all about feeling good. Yes, that's it. Feeling good vibe. Now, how long have you been in the industry? So I've been. At, I've been in the industry observing, but last year I kind of just started. The, yes, you had an epiphany and it was like, I want to step out and. What it was is that like, you know how like music is my passion, but I always hid behind it by just dancing. So I'm like, you know what? Last year I was like, I'm ready to do music. I'm ready to use my voice. So then, yeah, that's how it just happened. Like, I created a vision board for myself. I said I'm gonna make a hit song. It's not easy to make a hit song, by the way. I was like, okay, let me reach out to producers. They never, they never reached out. But eventually, at the end of the year, somebody reached out to me, um, and they said they seen an artist in me and they would like to work with me. And that's how I got to where I am. And how has that journey been? I didn't hear you. How has that journey been for you? Um, it's an eye opener. I've learned a lot, not only like as an artist, but in the business, in the, in the business aspect. Because it's like, as an artist, I feel like we must know the business in order for us to make money for ourselves because when you're working with other people you don't know what their gender is you get what i'm saying so yeah now what do you feel about this wave of afro pop afro beats hitting you know crossing over and merging into you know american music because really afro beats is very very popular right now yes. and there are a lot of collabos yes. happening so what do you think about that wave I didn't hear you. What do you think about it? What do you feel about that wave? Do you think it's just, you know, something that's temporary or long-standing? Um, I feel like Afrobeat is gonna be it's gonna be here for a very, very long time. But it can only be temporary if we stick to the same sound. I feel like we need to be very um very open to what we listen to and very open how we do our music as well. So when it comes to my music, I would say I'm gonna speak for myself. I wanna hit the whole world and not just Africa. Yes, that's important. Yes, very important, especially if you want to install Africa in them. So you want to hit everybody, everyone. Be global. Yes, yes. Now, can you give us a little taste of what we can expect tonight? Or you feel? How do you feel? Or do we have to wait? Can you give us a little taste? Honestly, I feel like you need to wait. You know, the suspense is better. You'll be surprised what will come out. You'll be surprised that your feet gonna start dancing. And you don't even know why you're dancing. So, yeah. So we can't get a teaser. But, yeah, go rest your voice because I know you got yes. a performance coming up. And I thank yes. and appreciate you for taking the time out thank before you. your performance. And like I said, she's beautiful. She's gorgeous. Yes. And she's making her way into the industry. So you make sure you look out for this yes. girl. I am honored to be in the Blue Sky Radio. Can't wait to see this footage. Thank you very much. <laughs>
Well, I'm so glad I got a chance to talk to you, and I'm looking forward to your performance. Yeah. Um, outside of yourself, who is probably one of your better sounds? Who's what? What a, this, you know, the artist that you would, that you enjoy listening to from this platform tonight. I'm outside here. Um, trust me, I, I listen to a lot of Akon. I listen to a lot of Ira Kelly too. No. Um, no, that's not. Not Kells. He is me. I mean. A man is a man, but I mean, you should be able to separate anybody from their weakness and their talent. When they got a talent, you got to respect the fact that they got talent, you know what I mean? There's a lot of great people out there too, and I love Bob Miley as well, a lot. Of course. Yeah. Now, if you had a chance to do a collab with anybody, dead or alive, who oh, yeah. would it be? <laughs> dead or alive? Dead or alive. My God. Akon. That's a hard question, right? Akon. Akon. I do something with Akon. Bruno Mass. Bruno Mass. Bruno Mass. Well, you heard it best. This is my oh, boy. This is Terrell. I don't know everything you over fresh. Know. From the beginning, Father God, give me the blessing for the winning. Everything over fresh. Thank you for having me. My girl at the artisting, yeah. Artisting around. Artisting around. My girl at the artisting, yeah. Artisting around. Artisting around. Hello, everybody. What's up? This is Terrell, and I'm passing through. Big shout out to Blue Sky Radio for having us right here. Keep watching, stay tuned. Everything over fresh. Blue Sky, big up. You're listening to the, the, the Blue Sky Radio. Blue Sky Radio. Beautiful blue skies. Blue skies. All right, I had to pull her to the side because her whole look deserves some camera action. Let me tell you, I'm here with business owner Felicia. How are you, darling? I'm good. How are you? I'm great. Now, what business do you operate and how can we find and locate the business? Yes. So I sell hair, um, protective style curls, and I also sell resort wear style clothing all um, seasonally as well as um, contemporary clothing like this. So I'm more of a personal shopper. I'm not a designer. I just like pick things that I think is cute and put it together. It's an online store so you can shop anywhere that don't have a brick and mortar. That's pretty much a dying industry, you know. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna need your card for the hair, the yes. protective style. Yes, yes, for sure, for sure. Like, especially in the winter time, it's cold. Right. Gotta keep your hair, you know what I'm saying? Gotta keep your hair warm. Right. So now, since this is all about the Zofa Fest, uh -huh. what made you come out tonight? Honestly, I came out to support my friend Estrella. I know she flew, she's an artist. She's performing, and um, she, flew, she flew down here from New York. So I was like, yes, like I, I didn't even ask what it was. I was just like, oh, you're there, I'm there. And I just, I'm now finding out what's happening. I literally came here, I didn't know what was such a good friend. You're a good friend. <laughs> Thank you. You're making your friends like very supportive. <laughs> this is a big deal because, again, this is Houston-based, and it's the first year, and it's such a great turnout. And we have people from Dallas, Chicago, New York is in the building. Miss Felicia, now I know your friend is performing. Um, she's gonna be coming up next, and I, and I spoke with her a little earlier. Yeah. Is there any other artist that you would like to see or that you're interested in seeing tonight? No. Just her best friend. That's all. I just came here to see this Shire perform. That's all I am here. It's for. all good. She's. I will discover song. other artists along the way. I'm sure because I've heard some pretty dope stuff already. But um, yeah, I'm just looking forward to discovering new artists. Yeah. Well, you heard it first here at the Blue Sky Radio. We're here at the Sofa Fest. First year, and it's a big deal. Man, I'm excited. So make sure you keep it locked. Stay tuned. We got more artists, more performers, more DJs, more business owners coming your way. Keep it locked. Jazz Chronicles, Blue Sky Radio. Boom. You're listening to the, the, the Blue Sky Radio. The Blue Sky Radio. Beautiful Blue Sky. The Blue Sky Radio. We've been dreaming for this. Now we're here. Now we're here. You've been looking for the place to promote your small business. The Blue Sky Radio is the best place to promote your small business. The Blue Sky Radio. The Blue Sky Radio. We the best. All right, I'm here backstage with Kelvin. How are you? I'm fine. Coming from. Atlanta, Georgia. ATL. Now, this is the first year for the Sofa Fest. Yeah. And how do you feel about the turnout and the purpose of the Honestly, I must say, I'm impressed. Just looking around, seeing 
how like um, DJ Oreo is trying to put everybody together. It's just beautiful, you know, and the turnout is amazing. I wish they could see, we could turn the camera and let them see how many people are behind. So it's beautiful and I'm happy and blessed to be here. And um, you're going to be performing a little bit later on, correct? Yeah, I'll be, I'm, I'm performing for sure. For sure. Now, how would you describe your sound and in this Afrobeats, Afropop wave that's a huge influence on music today? How would you describe your sound? Well, I'll, I'll still call it Afrobeats regardless. I don't. I personally, I'm a producer, so I, I really don't like to say, oh, it's this, that, that, that. So, but in the end, I try to be very, very creative with the sound, right? Try a little bit about of this Spanish guitar, a little bit of this polkas kind of sound, you know, and just experiment with it. As long as it, it sounds beautiful to the ears and it still has the bass, Afrobeat, you know, cultural structure behind it. You know, that's me. So I'm ju I just try to be creative with my sound, but at the end of the day, it's Afrobeats. Definitely Afrobeats. And like I said earlier, this is, Afrobeats is making a huge impact. Oh, yeah. I mean, everyone is trying to collab with somebody from Mama Africa. Mm -hmm. So speaking about collaboration, who would you like to collaborate with, dead or alive, if you could with anybody? Um, dead or alive. Well, um, Hunterstaff produced a lot of music for a lot of the Afrobeat artists right now. And um, I have a project coming out, Man on a Mission. Uh, I got Skibby on it. I got Gucci Mane on it. I got Wale on it. I got a couple of collaborations on it. But Dead or Alive, I'll still say Kanye West. You know he's here, right? He's in Houston. He's in Houston, oh, as we speak. Nef, don't be surprised. You might just see me in a studio with Kanye. Well, he'll, well, he'll actually be at Lakewood Church on tomorrow. Really? And, and, and then imagine Kanye West on an Afrobeat, real Afrobeat sounding track. I don't think he's ever been on an Afrobeat. No, no, no. Well, Oliver Twist is the remix, but that wasn't, I don't think it was officially ever put out, but he was on Oliver Twist, the remix. You know. So, Kanye, if you're listening, this. Kelvin Watch out, Kelvin Budge is wants here. to do a collab with you. So you definitely need to find him. Hell yeah. While you're here. What? While you're here. You need to find him. Yes, I will. I will. If we're in the same city, it's only why I try to find him, right? <laughs> All right, I'm here with Kelvin B. Mega producer. You know, I'm, we're going to be looking forward to his performance. And yes. that's awesome that you're a producer yes. and you're going to be performing. Yes. So yes. That, that's going to make your sound watch really... Out, watch out for our performance. Me, me, and me. We're bringing the energy. All of me. It's a, it's a, it's a, boy, a boy band group. All one, of him. One man, boy band. Three and one. Three and one. <laughs> the Trinity. You will read... Yo, what up, people? I go by the name Kelvin Budge, and right now you're listening to Blue Sky Radio and Jazz Chronicles. You already know. Don't touch that dial. Tell him. Here at the Blue Sky Radio at the Zoka Fest, I'm here with upcoming artists, beautiful songstress, teacher, designer, hair braider, multi-talented, actress, you name it, veteran, my girl, my girl, Anjali. How are you, Pud? I'm um, wonderful, Pud. How are you? Great. Welcome to the Blue Sky Radio. Thank you so much. <laughs> anyway, she is one of the performers tonight, and I'm glad that I got a chance to catch up with her. Um, the Zofa Fest. This is the first year for the Zofa Fest, and what's strikingly amazing is that it is a representation of the African diaspora, but my girl is from the boot. So how did you get involved with this event? All right, so just to give you like some background, right? I got into Afrobeat when, um, when I grew up on the southwest side of Houston, basically. So there's a whole lot of Africans, a whole lot of Nigerians specifically on the southwest side of Houston. So that gave me like my base. Like I just fell in love with African music, fell in love with Afrobeat. And then uh, just recently we started making like this Pan-African type of multi 
vibey type of sound or whatever. And and when Oreo came to me, he was like, I want you to be on my show. And I was like, bet, because that's the vibe I'm on. Like, the sounds over Africa, sounds all over Africa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm all with that. So, one family, Zopa Fest, we here, we did it. It was amazing. I really loved the other. You know, I was talking to many of the other artists that are performing tonight, and and the, the the idea, the concept is, and the observation rather is that there is a huge wave of Afrobeat music just taking over the music industry. I just said Beyonce did a whole tribute album to Africa. You got David O, Chris Brown, you got Omarion, Diamond Platinum. You got all these artists. Um, how do you feel about that from an American perspective yeah. coming into the industry? Yeah. How do you feel about that? So at first I kind of felt alone, but I went to the Jadena concert on last Friday and it's a whole vibe, like this whole push of unity and that, like what Burner Boy's mom said, she was like, you know, before you were anything else, you were African, right? That's kind of given a lot of us some perspective on ourselves. Maybe as an American, we didn't have much of a perspective because through history or whatever, we only taught, oh, you were a slave. You know what I'm saying? But before we were, before, before, we were African. We are African. You know what I'm saying? So Zopa Fest to me, it embodies all of that. You know what I'm saying? And so far, as the artists coming into this industry and, and the, the way that I'm making my music, the way that it comes from my heart, the fact that that is now the way that everybody's on, because I was on it first. <laughs> you was on it first. <laughs> but yeah, it just, it gives me a sense of comfort, like, we can do this. Like, I'm not by myself, I'm not alone, you know? Let's go. And she's making great music. I have the opportunity to listen to her track, but I tell you, they are absolute fire. Absolute fire. Now, I'm, I'm digging the outfit. Yeah. Who, who are you wearing? Because it's real hot. I am wearing Chisa Designs. Um, it, I have a matching bag. I would love to show it. She has a bag to go with it. She has a bag. So it comes with the bag and the dress, and it has these little shimmies right here, and, and, and I just love it so much. I told her I wanted something short and playful and, you know, and sexy, and here's this is the end result, so. She's embodying the whole movement, the whole event. Yeah. And again, I'm so glad that you're my best friend. Yes. And I'm so glad that I have a talented best friend. Yes. And, and I have a talented best friend too. And thank you. <laughs> thank you for the interview. Again, this is the Blue Sky Radio. We are here. We are live and in effect at the Zofa Fest. You heard it first on the Blue Sky Radio. And I'm going to let her just take over and give the Blue Sky Radio and Jazz Chronicles a shout out. I'm going to step out of the way so she can show her outfit. I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna move. Hold my back, God like that. You give me vibrations. Maybe I need it, but you're the only one I wanna stay here. Yo, it's your girl Anjali here at Zopa Fest. Make sure you tune into my girl show, Jazz Chronicles, every Friday. Yo, it's a vibe. Zopa Fest, Anjali. Let's go. What's up? What's poppin'? We out here, we're enjoying the vibes. It's cool energy, you know what it is? It's cool energy, a cool vibes here at the Zofa Fest, and I'm also here with my man... FB. FB, who's rapping Nigeria and Jamaica, the whole collabo mix. Um, I want to talk about the Zofa Fest and the importance of the influx of Afro beats yeah. into the music industry right now, because it's a huge wave happening right now, and everybody's trying to jump on that wave. What do you think about that? I think it's, it's here to stay. That's the thing about it, it's not even a wave, it's here. People don't even know, it's not going anywhere. It's here, we're here to stay. It's, it's about the culture, it's about energy. It's not about what you have, it's about how you feel. Afro beats is like from the inside, you know what I'm saying? And that can't go nowhere. It's not going anywhere, and you have a, a unique sound, a unique collaboration within yourself. 
Nigerian and Jamaican. How is the influx of Afrobeats and even your style, um, what does that feel like to you and, and where do you see it going in the future? He said it's here to stay, what's your take on it? So here's the thing, Bills is absolutely correct, Afrobeat is here to stay, Afrobeat has been for long, but it took certain people to put it to the spotlight and I'll tell you that much, it's here to stay. Now for me, it's a different, it's a different vibe because I have a blend of Afrobeat and dancehall coming from both backgrounds. So Afrobeat, Afro dancehall, it's a whole entire, like it's just, it's here. And I'm saying, you, you see, reggae has been for, it's been for years. Dancehall has been around, but when you have Afrobeat and dancehall together, it's, it's different, man. You know what I mean? And we got, we got to see. We, we are the ones that's actually gonna. We're doing the work. That's why we're you're here. Ta you're taking it. Yes. You're taking it to the to, to the world, to the world. So Dover Fest, like, this is the first year, and you know we have artists from Chicago, from New York, from from Dallas, from the DMV. It it, it has to be a pretty big deal to get all these artists of this magnitude here. What brought you here tonight? Um. I know most of these artists. I know Oreo. I just, I'm just happy it's happening. You know, I'm happy that there's a place where we, there's a platform for all these artists, for all of us to be able to come show our talent, our passion. You know, some of us have jobs, some of us have things that we could be doing, but we can't leave without music. You know what I'm saying? It's too like, it's you know what I'm saying? And I'm just happy that this is happening. That's what brought me out here. I'm here to support, show love. That's it. Shout out to DJ Oreo once again, and what brought you here? Well, same vision, you know, when Oreo called me months ago, he was like, listen, have B, I have this idea of Zofa Fest. I said, listen, when it's ready, let me know. I'm down for you, I support you. And I'm here for the love of music. And the thing is that we artists, you know, it, it doesn't really have to be an A-list artist for this to happen. We already are early artists in our cities, in our towns, in our states. So why not bring everything together? And that's what, that's what the platform is all about. You know what I mean? And I'm, I'm happy to be here. I'm a music lover. You heard it best from two major artists. It don't have to be big name from somewhere else. We got it right here in Houston. And Zofa Fest has brought it all together, unifying the motherland with a big sound. And it's, that's what's up. So all I can say is, Thank you for the interview. Hey, what up, man? It's your boy, Bills. And right now, I'm chilling with my bro, FB. What's poppin'? Yes, you done know what they are. Bills. And now, right now, we're watching yes. Blue Sky Records. TV. TV? You're listening to the, the, the Blue Sky Radio. Blue Sky Radio. Beautiful blue skies. Beautiful blue skies. We're still here at the Zofa Fest here in Houston, Texas. Interview after interview with such amazing artists and one official major artist just stepped in. How are you, Mo? I'm good. I'm doing good. I'm doing great. Welcome to Houston. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'm glad to be here. We're glad to have you. Thank you. All right. Now, I said we've got people from Chicago, New York, uh, Dallas, DMV, Atlanta, and the question or the statement that I've always made when, in my interview is that this has to be an important, significant event to get all these talented artists here. So what actually brought you here tonight? Oh, well, um, you know, when it, when Aria called me and saw the dream, I called it a dream. When he called me and he sold the dream to me, I was interested. I loved it because it's bringing together um, a lot of African artists from different parts of the United States. You already know right now, Afrobeat is everywhere. Afrobeat is taking over the world. You know, and this gladdens my heart that we can all come together and make this show a success. All right, now I follow this guy on Instagram and when I tell you he's mad talented, you have such a beautiful sound that you play the guitar, you, you have an acoustic sound. It's almost like R&B mixed with a little Afro, Afro beat. I don't, I don't wanna, Describe it incorrectly. So, how would you describe your music, your sound? Um, I would call it Afrofusion, Afrofusion music. Um, for me, I, I I would like to personalize something. I would like to give, bring out something that people haven't done before. So I'll say Sar, in the mixture of soul music, Afrobeat, and R&B. So you you get that Afrofusion feel and when I sing. When you know, okay, he's got that accent though. But he sounds, he sounds 
pretty pretty clean so yeah so i'm bringing Niger all the way africa and they bring and come you know and also putting it in the, your normal everyday r and and soul music and and that goes well now do you have an album out uh, oh, and what are some what is your next event your future projects what are you working on um okay so i just released uh, a nine a nine track ep that that is actually doing a whole lot good with no with no with no features on it just me and i did it purposely because I want people to know that okay, this is me. This is just accept me. This is me. This is me, a raw. I don't need nobody to be on there. Um, I'm actually gonna be doing a lot of um, shooting. I'm shooting a lot of videos on the EP, and I'm also preparing all other materials apart from the EP. So there are a lot of collaborations coming coming forth, but we'll just keep that under the wraps. So when it's time, you just unwrap it. Unwrap it. Well, I'm not gonna hold you because I know you gotta get ready. You're one of the feature performers tonight. And like I said, this is the first year and it is an amazing turnout, bringing, unifying all the sounds of Africa here in Houston at the Dopa Fest. So Mo, thank you so much. I appreciate it. I look forward to your performance. What's up, my people? It's your boy, Morientes, AKA The Serenader. And you are tuned in to Jazz Chronicles on the Blue Sky Radio. Don't touch that dog, cause if you do, I don't know what you got happen now. Ayana, one time. Salute. So the night is still not over. The night is still young. We're still here at the Zofa Fest here in Houston at the Skybox. Brought to you by DJ Oreo and the team. And I'm here with yet another influential upcoming artist, T-Cross, all the way from New York. How you doing? I'm okay, man. I'm glad to be in Houston. It feels like home. It fra practically feels like Nigeria, if you know what I mean. <laughs> so I take it you're from Nigeria, yeah? Yes, I am. <laughs> All right, welcome to Houston. So we're here at the Zofa Fest, and I've mentioned time and time again to all the artists that I've interviewed that this has to have this has to have been a significant event for the simple fact that it has unified and brought artists uh, in the African diaspora from all over the United States, even from the motherland. So being that it is a significant event, um, what brought you here, and why did you agree to perform at this Zofa Fest? Okay, first off, it's a thing of pride to want to be associated with anything Afrobeat, whether it's from Nigeria, Ghana, Kenya, or South Africa. But a, couple, a few months ago, I was in Houston for a show for the first time, so I was really excited. I had an after-party performance at a club called Club O2 or something, O2 Lounge. Ori was the guy playing that night, so he saw me perform, and after that, we just hooked up on, on the gram, right? I guess he kind of noticed I was popping in New York. So when he hit my management up, he was like, I'm trying to bring out the top artists in every city that are Africans, and would you guys like to be part of it? I mean, there was gonna be so much cost involved, but we had to support in the best way we could. Just do the basics and we're here. So we're glad to have come in yesterday, I believe in tomorrow, but it's been an amazing experience. Met a lot of artists. Um, brothers, sisters, like it just feels like we're one huge family. Nobody's trying to compete against the other. We should be figuring out how to help promote each other so we can get there faster. And um, Houston, again, you know, we're hosting this Dofa Fest and it's an amazing thing. What are you working on currently? I love that question. Um, almost two months ago, I put on my album, my debut album. It's called Over. Thank you. It's called Overseas. Uh, the top single on the album is what I just performed there called More Blessings featuring DJ Nori and Tamaya. The album has Vector in it, Two Baba in it, Chidimai. It's an amazing album and trust me, don't go with the whole idea of I don't know him. When you click on that link on Spotify, on YouTube, you're going to love it. So far, we got a bunch of videos we're shooting. We already shot one. We're just waiting to line up at least three and then we just drop them back to back to back promoting the album. Come next year, we're going to be touring. I know, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm that fly, we're going to be touring. So, a lot of good things in store, so just just, just stay with me, man. It's, it's going to be an amazing journey. Now, how can people get in touch with you and link you? You follow me on all platforms, including Spotify and YouTube. I am T-Cross, I-A-M-T-K-R-O-S, that's the cross is spelled with a K. On Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, the same thing. Follow me, man. Stream that music. Yo, it's your boy T Cross, and I'm the boy with an accent, all the way from New York City, Afrobeat superstar. I'm here in Houston, chilling, 
chilling with Blue Sky Radio and Jazz Chronicles. You already know, don't touch that dial, don't change it, stay on it, stay on me. It's your boy T Cross, you already know. You're listening to the, the, the Blue Sky Radio. Blue Sky Radio. Beautiful blue skies. Yo, it has been such an amazing event, and it is still going on. The night is still young. The love, the love for the African diaspora, the love for the Afro beat, the love for the Afro pop, the love for the music. It is definitely universal. And here at the Joker Fest, it is exemplified times 10 how beautiful the music is and how it's unified everybody together. We have everyone here, one love for one sound, and it's amazing. So shouts out to DJ Oreo. You did your thing, boy, you did your thing. Shouts out to the whole team that helped you put this event together, all the DJs, all the artists, everyone who shouted out the Blue Sky Radio, we here. And guess what? We got more to come. More to come, and if you want to see more to come, you need to make sure you download the app, the Blue Sky Radio. It's your girl Jazz here at the Jazz Chronicles. I'm tired. I'm cutting out. I'm done for the night. I'm going to enjoy the show. I'm off the clock. Boss, don't worry. We out of here. Blue Sky Radio. Zoka Fest. We out. Listening to the, the, the Blue Sky Radio. The Blue Sky Radio. Beautiful blue sky. The Blue Sky Radio. We've been dreaming for this. Now we're here. Now we're here. You've been looking for the place to promote your small business. The Blue Sky Radio is the best place to promote your small business. The Blue Sky Radio. The Blue Sky Radio. We the best.